Artbeat FM and welcome to His Art once again every Friday between 8 and 10. And this morning we've got a special surprise coming into the studio. It's Sister Lungi coming to us all the way from Plettenberg Bay. Uh, the lady who also heads up our Bible school in Neisner. And we are so excited. I was looking at the photos the other day and we've been on radio so many times together. And there's been so many times when I've just sat across this desk and listen to the anointing of God pour through her life. So I'm so excited, a mighty woman of God, somebody that started in the Bible school many years ago, and that's just stuck with it, and that's just always such an example of Jesus Christ and of His power and His anointing. So stay tuned in for Sister Lungi coming uh, to the radio. I, I do believe it's going to be a mighty, mighty blessing. Uh, this morning, I, as I was reading the scripture, I saw peace in a peaceless world in John chapter 14. And it was such a profound revelation for me because in verse 27, Jesus says, Peace I leave with you, peace I give to you, not as the world gives. Do not let your heart be troubled and do not be afraid. So Jesus is saying, I leave you peace, guys. I'm leaving it to you. It's not the same peace that the world is offering you. And you know the world is offering you peace of mind at a price. Uh, if you get peace of mind through insurance, you'll pay for that. If you get peace of mind through some form of addiction, whether it is uh, extreme sports or whether it is drug addiction, alcohol addiction, any other addiction, it will come at a cost. You'll experience slight peace and then you will experience problems after that peace. But Jesus says, no, no, I'm giving you a different type of peace. And in a peaceless society, in a world that's gone peaceless, I believe that we need this peace like never ever before. Uh, this text, Jesus comforts his disciples. In verse 14, he actually starts off by saying to them, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God and believe also in me. So he says, don't let your heart be troubled. And then he gives us three P's that I found in this scripture. The promise of power. The promise of prayer and the promise of presence. And that is what we need in these days. Uh, we might think we need more. No, we don't need the peace that the world is offering us. Uh, in verse 12, he says that truly I tell you, whosoever believes in me, the works that I've been doing, they will do an even greater work. That's the promise of power. He's saying you will receive power and power will counter this peacelessness, this restlessness, because you will be able to manifest the power of God, the supernatural power of God in a very peaceless situation. And then the promise of prayer you find in verse 13 where he says, and I will do whatever you ask in my name. That's the power of prayer. He says, anything you ask me, I will do in my name. So that is a promise of prayer. So we've got a promise of power. We've got a promise of prayer. And then we've got a promise of presence. And in fact, there's a lot of promise of presence in this entire section of Scripture where he talks about the Holy Spirit. In verse 16, he says, And I will ask the Father and He will give you another advocate to help you and to be with you forever. He says, he will be with you forever. We know he's, he's the spirit of truth. We know He's the spirit of comfort. He's the comforter. And in a peaceless society, we need the promise of power to manifest. We need the promise of prayer to manifest. And we need the promise of presence to manifest. I want to challenge you to go and study John chapter 14. Jesus says, listen, I'm going to give you peace. But it's not the world peace. It's, you're not going to get this from your bank balance. You're not going to get this from all your problems being solved. No, this peace is going to come in spite of adversity, in spite of difficulty, in spite of challenges. You are going to experience this peace. And then he gives us these three, what I like to call the three P's. He gives us the promise of power saying, listen, even if you have disease or you face disease in your family, even if you face financial famine in your family, even if you face adversity, emotional challenges in your family, you have the promise of power where you can actually take authority and manifest God's grace into a desperate situation. So you've got the promise of power, which will then bring this peace that transcends the understanding. And then in verse 13, he says, Anything you ask in my name. So we've got this promise of prayer where we go into the inner closet. We go into the inner room and we experience this prayer. And 
the manifestation of prayer is so great because we have this capacity to speak to the creator of the universe. Direct communication. Just imagine that. This is a promise of prayer. You can speak to Him. The power that created the world dwells inside of you. That's the promise of power. And then the promise of presence, the Holy Spirit, which in the Greek is called the parakletos, the one who walks alongside, is there for us. He will never leave us nor forsake us. He will remind us. He will teach us. He will comfort us. He will guide us. He will encourage us. And sometimes He will even carry us. So as you are listening to this message or watching it, don't you want to tap into these peas? The promise of prayer, the promise of power, and the promise of presence. In the name of Jesus, you have that today at your fingertips. All you have to do is you have to ask Him. You have to invite Him. And you have to allow Him to come into your life. So stop chasing the peace of this world. Stop trying to find your peace by trying to solve your problems, trying to become financially secure, trying to provide for this or provide for this. Stop that right now and enter into that secret place. Say, Lord, I come to you to today. I come to you in the name of Jesus. I lay my life down. I lay my plans down. Every plan that I have, I lay it down today. I bring it at your feet. And I come and tap into today the promise of power. I ask you, Holy Spirit, that you will remind me and reveal to me what is the promise of power. What is the authority of the believer? Lord, I've not been praying. I come to you this morning in prayer. And I want to tap into the promise of prayer. And Lord, I've been so unaware of your presence many times. But now I want to become aware. Of the Spirit of God. I want to become aware of your presence. And I say, Holy Spirit, come, guide me, lead me. If I've grieved you, I repent. If I've grieved you and I've been disobedient, I repent. In the name of Jesus, I repent. I surrender everything today. All these things that, that have been on my mind, all these things that I've been thinking about, all these things that I've been lying awake about, everything that I've been trying to solve with peace that this world can give me, peace that my mind can give me, peace that I find in my own capacity. No, I come and I lay it all down today in the mighty name of Jesus. And I give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. And I call upon the peace that transcends the understanding in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and Amen.